Here we are going to go over how your solar panel and rain sensor should be connected to your solar smart operator. Inside the battery compartment we have this blue terminal block with four set screws. Each of the set screws corresponds with four hole locations in which the wires are inserted and the screws tighten the wires down. On the end here the holes are also labeled as rain sensor and solar panel. The solar panel is polarity dependent. Blue is positive, brown is negative. Blue must be in the first topmost location here, followed by the brown in the second. The rain sensor is not polarity dependent, but I like to wire in blue, brown, blue, brown just to be consistent. The solar panel and rain sensor wiring will come with the wires pre-stripped, just like so. All you really need to do is unpull the excess wire casings, give the wires a twist, and maybe trim this down so you have no more than about a half inch of copper exposed. A tip that we recommend is to take some solder and tin the end of those wires so that they become one solid piece. This will prevent any loose strands of going straight and accidentally going the hole of, a, uh, of the wrong terminal block, thus creating a short. In most cases, you will not need to cut the wiring of the solar panel or rain sensor. But if you do, we'll go over that now. I'm going to go ahead and back out the solar panel wiring here where I have a little bit too much wire exposed for my liking. I'll loosen those and bring the screws all the way up flush to the top of the terminal block. I'll simply pull these out. You can use a common pair of strippers. I like this quick tool here where I can go ahead and cut the wires together. I can take the whole jacket and do something like this, strip the outer jacket, and both the inner wires here, I can strip that, and there we go. That's kind of neat. Gonna separate these a bit, give them a twist. I'm going to insert into the corresponding hole. I'll make sure to give them a good twist. Especially on the solar panel, you don't want any loose strands crossing the positive and negative connections when you insert them into the hole. I could have been a little closer with the white jacket on the ends of the, the wires here as well. Now with the solar panel, a good practice to do as long as you're in reach is to take a voltmeter, take the positive lead and place it on the top of this first set screw and place the second one on the bottom of the bottom set screw. And I'm doing this indoors with just a 60 watt or 40 watt lamp on the solar panel and you can see I got 10 volts of power coming through the solar panel. I know I have a good uh, solar panel connection at that time. But you also want to check to make sure that these wires will not pull out. As you see I just did. So I didn't get a full clamping in there and I expected that. To fix that, well first of all what's going on in here is we've got these set screws pushing down a tab and the tab keeps the wires clamped in there. On the desktop here, of course I had a good connection, but can't rely on that connection if it's not truly clamped in there. So what we want to do is make sure that tab fully pops up after I back out these set screws. You can do that in a, with a number of ways. One, you can take a small nail, a little finishing nail or an allen wrench. All we're doing is reaching into these holes and pushing open the tab. You see I have resistance there. I'm just going to push until it slides in further. And then back it out. Do the same on the next hole. Push until I have resistance and then push it in further. And the allen wrench gives your finger a little bit more of a, push, a surface to push on than the nail, but a nail certainly would work in, in uh, 
when you need to. And I'll go ahead and make sure I get a good twist in the wires. Oops. Insert them both. Screwdriver provided. Retighten them down. You don't want to over tighten. All we're doing is clamping a little tab. Give the wires a new tug. Now they're in there secure. You can hang the, the solar panel or the operator from those wires. A good solid connection.